So hello and welcome to another class of ABM because science is this is Abhishek with you. So today I'll be talking about uh, the variations of genetic code. So natural genetic code you know very well that there are 64 codons, 61 can be coded, 3 are stop codons like that. So the normal thing, the basic things you already know I think but the variations which is uh, not so available in all the books and also in the YouTube. So I made this class for you guys. So what are the basic exceptions by nature in different organisms during or regarding the genetic code? So let's start. So let's start with the mitochondria, which we think or we scientists think that the ancient prokaryotic cells. So this mitochondria Mitochondria codes two RNAs and they have own 22 tRNAs and they code for 13 proteins. So we know that in our body generally 32 tRNAs are there which are coding for 64 codons or which are required for the 61 codons. So 64 means uh, including the three stop codons. So let's it be 61 codons. So 32 tRNAs we know and which will be utilized or which are utilized for the protein synthesis mechanism. Now the mitochondria codes for two RNAs, 13 proteins and 22 tRNAs. So how these tRNAs, only 22 tRNAs are replacing the 32 tRNAs which are required for normal mechanism or normal protein synthesis machinery of the cell. So this mitochondria in the mammals or the vertebrae, uh, they are, this 22 only is capable of synthesizing the proteins. So here, two uh, codons are there or two amino acids like methionine and tryptophan which is coded by methionine and tryptophan. So these two amino acids are coded by only single codons. Okay, so apart from this, if you think a uh, different research also prove that this tryptophan this uh, tryptophan shows some flexibility regarding the genetic code using the UGA. So we know that there is a three stop codons UGG, UGA and U U A G. So these three are stop codons. But in case of mitochondria in vertebrae, it has been observed that the U G A codon, which should be as a terminator codon, is utilized as tryptophan. So the particular tRNA, Charles tRNA, is recognizing the UGA as a tryptophan amino acid and this is linked to the protein during protein synthesis. So this one is the variation in mitochondria in the vertebrates. So likewise if you see in other uh, eukaryotic modifications like uh, you can see some ciliated protist, ciliated protist in eukaryotes Some ciliated protist has some natural variations. This ciliated protist, the ciliated protist codes for UAA and UAG as what I mean. So I have shown you some natural variations in mitochondria and eukaryotic. Ciliated protein. Now we'll see some of the natural variations present in the prokaryotic cells. So coming to prokaryotes. So 
Regarding procarids, you can also see some of the natural variations and I'll start with the E. coli. Most common examples for you all. So here, sometimes we know that the initiator codon is what? A U G. Okay. That is known universal. But in some cases, not all the E. coli, not all the strains, but some of the strains of the E. coli means which is present in the E. coli strains, sometimes it has been observed that the G, I'm sorry, G U G, which generally codes for valine, it is a natural code. So naturally it codes GUG to valine, but in some E. coli strains it has been observed that GUG is acting as a initiator codon. Initiator codon. But it has some terms and conditions applied when GUG is using or is used as a initiator codon. How? Because the GUG is correctly positioned. It is positioned at near to the translation start site. It is positioned according to the ribosome where the ribosome will come and recognize this uh, GUG as initiator codon and incorporates methionine instead of valine with this GUG. So this is a very useful and highly applicable example of natural variations present in the E. coli. Now coming to the another strain of prokaryotes that is Mycoplasma Capricolum It is a strain of Mycoplasma where you will be observing same as the mitochondria that is Tryptophan that is TRP is coded by U G A codon. The same thing which I have already explained for in the case of mitochondria happens in the in this strain that is my mycoplasma capricol, where the tryptophan is uh, coded by a termination codon. So that is a very uh, useful information also. Now coming to some of the proteins that is useful proteins named as format. Dehydrogenase in bacteria glutathione peroxidase is another enzyme in case of mammals. These two specific enzymes require a specific substance that is selenium. So selenium present in the cell in the form of selenocysteine. Okay. Now this we know that the modifications in the proteins are generally occurred by post-translationally. That is post-translational modification takes place to give the particular structure or any kind of uh, group modifications or the other kind of modifications. But this insertion of this selenium in the form of selenocysteine in the uh, mammals as well as uh, in case of format dehydrogenase in bacteria that is done by or done in the time of translation. So during translation, during translation, 
this cellular system has been incorporated so it is a natural variation of genetic group now how it is incorporated one tRNA that is specific serine tRNA serine tRNA is utilized here which will recognize a specific U a G sequence UAG codon and incorporates selenocysteine other than inhibition or any kind of serine molecule. So this is a another natural variation present in the case of bacteria which is coded by UAG which is again it's a termination codon and it codes for selenocysteine with a specific highly modified serine tRNA which recognizes the particular UAG not all UAG are coded for the uh, selenocysteine so you see the variations in the genetic code are very much restricted so you can say that the genetic code is flexible but it is restrictedly flexible not anything can be done anywhere so it is very much well regulated the genetic code is very much well regulated in the way of flexibility so it is a natural wonder natural variations how uh, the organism is evolving so the evolution this genetic code again proves that the organisms are living organisms can be evoluted and how they modified their systems according to the resources present there so these are kind of uh, very useful information uh, from the point of view that is natural variations of the genetic code so if you have any questions please ask me in the comment sections so signing off so if you like my classes give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel because these things stimulate me to take futuristic classes for you guys so thank you and be with me